I would best describe myself still as a very, very curious cat who knows how to fulfill her spidey senses. And yeah, I'm still learning. So movies were definitely what got me to cybersecurity. No, and that's awesome. And it's it's funny that you say you're curious because I think honestly with breaking and getting into cybersecurity and even once you get into the industry, it's being curious is what makes people grow and get better. So it's just like riding a bike, like to get better at a skill, you have to continuously keep trying to do it and do it over and over. And you're not always going to get it right the first time. And sometimes it takes two, three, five, ten, several times to refine and get better at a skill. And I also think you're nail on the head where it's like people think of cybersecurity, they think of three things. They think of like IT help desk. They think of the hooded hacker that's like, hey, I'm in the, I'm in the mainframe. I got in. Or they think of cybersecurity analysts that are just doing defending. Like, hey, we blocked the hacker. We've secured the network. When in full honesty, you have your ethical pen testers. You have GRC compliance. You have your DevSecOps. You have uh, your, your bad, bad hackers. I mean, there's so <laughs> many different paths and avenues. There's DLP. There's engineers that just do back-end coding. And there's so much more than just those like semi-entry-level roles or those roles that this is what I have to do to get into cyber. And that's a lot of sometimes what I talk about people when they want to get into the field or when they ask me like, Hey, how do I get into cybersecurity? My first question is, is like, well, what do you want to do? 